What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel, King Can TV. And today we're gonna to be discussing why Kai Jones isn't getting no playtime so far. Now, as everyone knows, if you're a Hornet fan, you already know what time it is with Kai Jones, man. This is a raw prospect right here. Very raw. This guy is only 20 years old. He's only 20 years old, man. This dude is a very, very raw prospect. We've seen him in college, high fire, dunking on people, blocking shots. Exactly what we needed. I'm so, I'm so happy we drafted this dude. I'm very happy we drafted this dude. On the downside, though, with him being raw, he makes a lot of bonehead decisions when he gets the ball, man. It's like certain times you look at him, it's like, dang, like when we seen him, when we seen him in the summer league and he had that dunk that looked like Giannis, it's like, oh, man. Oh, man, this we, we, done, we done drafted the steal of the, <laughs> of the draft, man. This is, this is still of the draft right here. And then he'll, he'll come down two possessions later, and it's like, oh, man, come on now, Kai. What you doing, man? What you doing? Like, you doing too much, man. Just just do what you got to do on the court, and that's it. That's all we need you to do, man. That's all we need you to do. So everyone knows he's pretty much a raw prospect, which is probably why he hasn't gotten the game much besides, you know, garbage time. We've seen him come in a few times when we were blowing out teams. So it's like, hey, it is what it is. Same thing with James Booknight. He got in during garbage time. But with Kai, I feel like it's a little different, man. I don't expect Kai – like with James Booknight, I expect him to eventually start getting minutes. With Kai Jones – I don't see him getting too much time, really, because he's a raw he's he's a raw prospect right now. He's he's got a lot of stuff he's got to work on. Although he's shown flashes, he's definitely going to be he's going to eventually be one of our starters on this team. Give him about two, three, three years. I see him in that fourth year, really, really taking that jump. Like he's going to be a starter on this team. He's a project. He's definitely a project, but it's going to be worth the wait. I, I already see it coming, man. I already. This guy, I mean, y'all probably see it too, man. That summer league where he had them lobs, all we need him doing is getting rebounds, blocking shots, and dunking on people. Eventually, if he can work on that ice, that outside shot, sky's going to be the limit. Sky's going to be the limit, man. He he is definitely going to be nice. But until then, man, I'm hoping he can go down to the G League and get a couple of, you know, get a couple games in because I don't like our, our rookies just sitting on the bench and watching. Even though it's good to, like, learn from your vets, at the same time, I, I think they need like some type of playing time to like just get a feel for the game, you know. Let them let the, let them get their hands wet, you know. When 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 you're just sitting on the bench and you're learning and learning, when you're gonna be able to put that knowledge you done gained to test. So I know with, with James Booknight, man, y'all y'all shouldn't be too worried about him. He gonna get in the game, but with Kai Jones, I don't I don't see him really getting too much playing time unless like we unless we getting blown out or we blowing somebody else out. I don't see him getting in like that because Nick Richards, he played pretty decent against the Boston Celtics. And I see him getting more playing time than Kai Jones. One, he's been here a little bit longer. Two, he's not hes not going to make those bonehead decisions like that you're seeing from Kai Jones, man. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, Kai Jones, he he's trying to make those flashy plays, man. Like he said, they want to be box office. And box office is definitely going to be coming from these boys. But for right now, it's best, like, you know, let Ke let Coach keep knowing what he's doing. He know what he's doing, man. He knows what he's doing. I know a lot of fans ain't going to like it. We ain't like it when he was sitting Melo. When Melo was sitting in certain times and they let DT play when clearly Melo should have been playing, it's a learning curve, man. You got to gain you got to gain that respect. You got you to gotta prove yourself. You got to prove yourself, man. I feel like that's what Coach is doing. A lot of these guys, they come in five stars. They feel like they ain't got to prove themselves because they've been, they been given everything. But now you're in the league and you realize, hey, everybody five stars. If they could give out six stars, it'll be six stars out there. So it's best, it's best they keep doing, coach keep doing what he's doing, man. Let these boys learn. Eventually, I'm hoping they get some playing time. But if we're gonna keep winning like this, hey man, I ain't gonna be complaining. I'm not gonna be complaining. Other than that, that's gonna do it for this video. Y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think. Y'all tell me how y'all feel. Should they be getting some playing time? Because right now I think we're running the eight to nine man rotation. We we scoring we scoring over 120 almost every game on an eight to nine rotation. That's pretty good. I did not expect that with only eight to nine players playing. I feel like that's 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 pushing it right there. That's pushing it. But hey, if we're gonna keep scoring like that and we winning games, I'm not gonna complain. But other than that, that's gonna do it for this video. I'll see y'all in the next one.